In this Cinellera tutorial I will show you how to create a vertical video clip with a blurred stretch background of the original clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Cinellera. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well this is a video clip I um, took this winter on my mobile phone. As you can clearly see, it's come straight into Sinalera on its site. So, what I would do in this instance is come over to the video effects strip and left click on it. And then left click on scale. And then drag the scale box onto your video clip. And then go into the show controls. And then put a tick in constraint ratio. And bring this down in size. Something like 50% to start with. Close the box down. And then go into geometry. And this time you're looking for the rotate effect. Go into show controls. Put a tick in the box that says 90. And close this down. And now you can adjust your video. So I'm going to go back into scale. And it looks like it's a little bit too small. So I'll we'll take it up to about 0.6 and that will do. Now unfortunately, certainly with my version of Sinalera, I can't stretch this. So the best thing to do is just go into render. And first of all, just deselect your audio. You'll also need to decide, like I said, I assume you know what you're doing with these things anyway, so uh, let's bung this on the desktop for speed. Give it a title, making sure your pointer is over the box. Now, the next thing. Before rushing ahead, what you need to do, next to where it says append new tracks, left click on the arrow and you want to select create new resources only and then go ahead and render your video. Now once your new video has uh, finished rendering, what I would do is first of all just right click over your original video and left click add track and then right click on your original video again and delete the track so this will leave you with your original audio now drag your new clip into what will be track 2 Okay, and then go back into scale. Drag the scale box over your clip, and then you'll have to reset everything. You go into show controls, and first thing I would do is just take this up to one, and then uncheck the constraints ratio box and increase the X scale until it fills the screen. Now go into blur, drag the blur effect into over your clip 
and again go into the show controls with your pointer in this dial here roll your mouse don't go too quickly because it'll take it'll take off until you get a blurred clip or you're happy with the amount of blur that you're going to use so I'll take this up to something like 50 that'll do okay right click on your track and then add another track and bring your new clip in and the first thing you're going to have to do because you won't see the original is go into something called FF Color Correction and what you're looking for is F Color Key drag this over your new clip and a presto this will happen and the only other thing you might want to do is rescale this because this doesn't fill much out so if you want to rescale it just bring your scale in it'll go to the original settings so just reset this back to one in fact it's probably easier just to you always have to have the pointer in the box and then select constraint ratio and then if you like if you want you can start taking your clip up in size and that's all there is to it really now you can go ahead and render obviously make sure that you change your render settings to include audio go ahead and render your video clip as per this hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers